Hi, I'm Jamie Otis, and tonight on Married at First Sight Unfiltered, I sit down with the couples and ask the tough questions. We'll get into the ups and downs, for better or worse, and find out what it was really like to marry a complete stranger. What scares you the most about the upcoming decision day? What scares me the most is making a wrong decision um, and then having to live with whatever decision I make. Um, and that's scary. Coming up to decision day, I think we're, we're both like at a point to where we don't really know what each other's decision is going to be. So I'm scared of more of kind of like surprise. Drop a bomb yeah. on decision day. I'm literally in the middle because a, a part of me is like, kind of cut your losses and just call it quits. And then the part of me is like, why would you give up? Because you signed up for this. Like, you wanted to marry a stranger. Nobody told you to. So, you know, do it. Do what you said you were going to do. What frightens you the most about the upcoming decision? I think what frightens me the most is that Tom will want to get a divorce. I mean, it's only been six weeks, and I want to get to know Tom. And I want us to stay together and build something together. But knowing that Tom is pulling back because of my father and other issues and... I'm just gonna talk to myself <clears throat> as if I'm talking to you. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Right, <clears throat> you're working. The good has been so much better. Like we've had way better moments than we've had bad. And he, he's just latching onto the bad and I don't know if he's scared or what's mm. going through his mind, but it makes me feel like he might really consider a divorce. For me, it's just, it's difficult to be um, realistic because I'm still not in love with Lillian, you know, so trying to grow in love. And I feel very, you know, anxious and just nervous that, you know, I am going to stay with this person. I'm going to commit so much of my life and change, I mean, just about every dynamic of my life except for my working life. And then what if it never happens? What if this is just a waste of time? You know, it's just a lot to invest. I think Tom is scared of not knowing what's gonna happen in the future and not knowing if we will stay together or not. I'm, I'm the type of person that I like to focus on the good things and the positive. And I want him to see the good that we've had and the positive in our relationship. How do you feel like Nick is right now with the upcoming decision? I think Nick is leaning towards staying together. You should move back in. I just, like. What's the worst that's gonna happen? You move in, I sleep on the couch, or the other room, and we see each other more than we do now. He's been telling me, you know, oh, well, things may change, like, when the cameras are not around, and, you know, the dynamic may be different, and, like, we just never know. Um, like, and we have nothing to lose kind of thing. What do you think Lily is the most scared about for the upcoming decision day? I think Lillian's really terrified that, you know, I'm not gonna be willing to give us a shot. You know, that I'm gonna just bail and, you know, abandon her like, you know, other people in her life. If you think Tom was asked right now, do you think he'd opt for a divorce? I think Tom would stay together, but I think he would fight with that decision. Like, he would have a hard time coming to it because he keeps saying, like, he's 80% sure of his decision. And... Does he tell you what decision that is? No. <laughs> That's Which scary. It could be divorce, but I want to think that it's staying together and he's just thinking about the future and the negative and what could happen and that we could get hurt in the future. And I think he's battling with that. How does that make you feel? It hurts me. It really does. You know, with her issues, she has some issues with her father and stuff. What if she can't get over these issues? It's not my role to go in to this and fix somebody. You know, that's definitely not what I wanted. And I feel like there's so many things in her life that are, you know, other issues that have been dragging on for years that are affecting, you know, her relationship with me. So it's just going into this, this next week is gonna be just very difficult. I wanna focus on the good and like the moment, how I felt when we've been great, like all the experiences, the memories we've created, like I'd rather think about that and think about our future as that. And if we get hurt in the future, well, we're gonna learn from it. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather take the risk than opt for a divorce and then be like, I wonder what would have happened.
Describe what love means to you. It's loving somebody for their flaws. I mean, it takes time to grow in love with someone. Like, I want to be able to love someone and them love me. What is your definition of happily ever after? My definition of happily ever after is um, having a nice balance of tiffs and arguments. <gasps> it's snowing! And really, really good times. And I feel like it's a perfect balance. You know, you're definitely not gonna go in, you know, with 100% good times. So you're gonna have a, a balance of the good times and the bad times. It would be that somehow along the way, um, Nick and I became best friends. I just spent it <laughs> I wonder. And all the things that I need, he was giving me, and vice versa. And all the things that he needed, I was giving to him. My happily ever after would be to get to a place to where we can understand each other without having to communicate all the time and without having to talk about emotions. Like, if she sees me a certain way, she just knows how I feel. Or if I see her a certain way, I kind of know how she feels already, and I can kind of either sneak around the snake or, like, you know, like, get her flowers, because I know she's sad, or, you know what I mean? Things like that, just to get to that point. And to, you know, have a place that's our own, that's kids down the road, maybe. How many kids do you want? I don't know, twins runs in our family, I think. Well, it definitely runs in my family, for sure. Whoa. How many kids do you want? Um, I'm not ready for kids yet. <laughs> it's going to be a while. Um, you know, I, I don't really know. Um, I would love to adopt, especially like older kids that need help. I would love that. I love that because that's exactly what I want to do. Do you feel like, because I know you say you're not in love with Lily right now, but do you feel like you could see that love in the future? I feel like as we, we grow in love, the weeks go by, we definitely have a lot of potential for, for growing in love and having a really healthy relationship. <laughs> We're giving it 100% still. We've learned a lot about each other <laughs> and how to... Not argue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how to argue, but argue better. <laughs> That's a terrific skill, you know. Do you think that love is within reach for you and Tom? I hope so. I mean, I think we have a good thing going, and time will tell. I mean, it takes time to grow in love with someone. Mm -hmm. And I want to wait and see. Maybe in a year from now, we'll be like, F everything. <laughs> Let's stop what we're doing and just travel and drive through the across the country yeah. and just do that. Right now, sitting with you today, I do not feel like that love is within reach. Um, I don't think it's impossible, but I think there's like a lot of hurdles that we'd have to overcome in order for that to even be a possibility. I'm gonna go. Have a good day. Love is definitely a possibility for us. It's just getting to communicate and learn about each other in ways that we both appreciate. See you later. Bye. Bye. Describe what love means to you. Uh, being in love, you know, is something that is such a powerful force. And to me, it's it's loving somebody for their flaws, caring about them unconditionally, even if when you are upset with them, still caring about what they need and what they want from you. You know, I think that's that's love. Describe what love means to you. Um, love means, like, everything to me. Um, Like, I want to be able to love someone and them love me and just, um, like, even when I have my bad days and I'm a or, I mean, he's a that, that, like, just, because every time I think about love, I just think about, like, how I feel about my father and, like, I just think he's, like, the most amazing man in the whole entire world. Um, and I'd like to think, that of my husband. And you're, you're not there yet. Thanks for watching Unfiltered, the only show that takes you inside the journey of marrying a complete stranger on national television.
We hope you enjoyed the show. Don't miss another brand new episode of Married at First Sight next week, right here in FYI. I don't feel like you're a stranger. I know, right? I never pictured getting married to a stranger. You may kiss your bride.